Hello, welcome. Jill here. We are in week seven of the 12 week fitness challenge and I have a fantastic apartment friendly workout for us today. Expect the core opener, so keep your mats handy at the front of the class. We're gonna get that heart rate to elevate with compound movements. We're not taking breaks, but you can initiate those at any time. Listen to your body, keep a water bottle handy. I'm gonna adjust the music. We're gonna start with a dynamic body weight warm up. Mini band is optional to engage the glutes. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, feet at least hip width distance apart. Thank you for joining me today. I can't wait to roll out this workout. Starting with the tempo squat. Good, soften the knees, hips, tighten up that tummy. Good. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. Focus on the task at hand. This is your workout, your time. Make it count in four, three, good. Two side squats over to the right. Option, hips low, tummy in nice and tight, good. Make sure the knees are nice and firm. Use your glutes. Option to add that chest press. Overhead, in between. Pick it up, press together, good. Getting that circulatory warm up, getting the blood to the working muscles, joints, tendons, ligaments, and the brain. Eight, seven, six, five. Tempo squat coming up. Eight squats. We're gonna grab our mats. Really want you to focus on bracing that core. Nice. Option, take that mini band off. Starting with a squat. We're gonna head into some pulses here. Really wanna stimulate the muscles in the legs. When you're ready, pulse 15, let's go. Stay here, chest proud, ribs down, shoulders back, three, two, one, singles. Eight, good. Option, go top quarter like this. Just keep moving. Back to the pulses, let's go together. Bigger the pulse, the harder it gets. Seven. Three, two, singles. Eight. Get ready. Down dog walk. Hold the plank in four. Option to go bear crawl. Hinging on the hips, flexion in the knees. Four, three, two, and hold for four. Option to drop your knees. Option, bear crawl. Two squats or one slow squat. Again, let's go. And hold, stay firm, brace yourselves. Four. Good. Two more. 
Want that posterior pelvic tilt? Squeeze in that tummy. Again, let's go. Four, three, two, hold the plank. Shoulders strong here. Protect that low back, come down to your knees. Anytime. Spider. Walk it up. Option to widen that stance, more support to stabilize those hips. Level one modification from the knees. Bear crawl. One slow squat, just like that. Hold, down, down, up, up, and walk, hinging on the hips. Two squats. This time, hold that spider, let's go. Stay here. Keep going, four, three, two, one, take it up, four, three, now hold the squat, we're going to give the upper body a little break, good, stay here. Pulse 15. Torso is tall, spine is neutral. Dip those hips. Seven, three, two, singles. Eight, four, three, one more time. Hold that pulse. Let's get low. Feel that burn, feel that burn. Three, two, tempo, flush it out. Four, eight. This time, down dog, walk out to plank, other arm, and hold. Ready? Let's go. Four. Hold for four. Check your form and stay strong. Again, hold the plank, down, and hold, and up. Keep going, keep going, and hold. Keep breathing, friends. Really building that strong foundation, that core, spider, left arm, or opposite. Stay here. Four more. Up dog, four, stay here, we're going to pulse that squat, are you ready, let's go, 15, lots of legs, lots of core, upper body, with no weights at all, just a mat, minimal equipment, three, two, tempo. Eight, nice, push-ups, coming up. One more set of pulse squats, so make it count. I'll face you here. Come on, come on. Seven, three, two, eight, single, flush it out. Seven, six, 
six. Four, going back to the hold on the plank. Four counts, ready? Hold, four. One more time, in plank. And hold. And up. Two squats. This is your upper body form for push-ups. One push-up. Option, drop down to your knees. That is challenging, no question. One more time, one push-up. Combo. I'm gonna drop to my knees for those consecutive push-ups. Hold on the floor. Option from your toes. Option from your knees. Keep going for more. We're gonna stay here a little longer. We're going tempo push-ups. Stay with me, friends. We've got this together. Option to speed it up. We've got eight more. Hang on. Eight, seven, six. My core is on fire. Controlling that pelvis into walk it up. Four, three, tempo squat. Down, up. How are we doing? Are you ready to hold that pulse? At the bottom. 15, let's go. Wiggle the toes, pressure on the heels. Resistance on those quads, glutes, and core. Three, two, tempo. Eight. I want you to get a little bit lower. If you're used to holding dumbbells for your squats, get a bit lower. Bigger pulses. Last set. Let's go together. That's it. That's it. There's no impact on the joints here. Building that muscular endurance. Three, two, tempo flush. Four more. Last time, we're gonna walk the plank. Other arm leading. Four. Hold that plank for four. Check your form, friends. Should not be sharp pain in your spine. Push-ups coming up. Ready? One push-up. Again, four. Arrow, arms, good, four. Control those push-ups, let's go consecutive. Stay on the floor. Option to go from toes. I'm gonna drop to my knees. I wanna get a little lower. Recruit more muscles. Four more slow. Down. We're not arching that back. Get that chest low. Tempo 16. Come on. Body temperature is rising. You're working hard. Keep it up. Eight. Tummy in tight. 
constant reminders. I want to set you up for success here. In two, walk it. Four, three, two. Hold that squat, friends. And four, three, watch for the change. Add the pulse. You don't have to go low, it's up to you. Sixteen, let's go. We're gonna hold it a little longer. Chest proud, ribs down, core on, shoulders back. Keep going. Eight. We're gonna add the weights. We're gonna get the legs of recovery. Into reverse fly coming up. Nice work. Take a stretch if you need. Grab a sip of water. Reverse fly. Deadlift. Take your time, collect yourselves. Create that space in your environment and mentally. This is your time, so hang on. Stay focused. So you're bracing the core, activating hamstrings and glutes. Make that conscious effort for more. Everybody's range of motion is different. Listen to your body. Palms face in. Down for two. Hold 15. Working that posterior chain helps to bring awareness to that posture, how you carry yourself. Shoulders back, chest is proud. Spine is neutral. Three, that's it. Two, you've got it. One, up tall. Deadlift. Don't worry, we're gonna get that heart rate to elevate. I'm already sweating. Palms face in. 15 flies. Option to bend the knees. Get nice and low. No rounding on the spine. Option to lengthen the levers for an added challenge. We're not throwing the weights down. We're controlling that eccentric motion. Three. Up tall. Nice. Deadlift. Two more sets. It all adds up. Stay with me. And drop a comment. Let us know how you're doing with the workout. Set three. These comments help to motivate everyone. Scrolling through the video vault motivates the producer. Keep it, keep it up, guys. Seven. I often don't get the comments the day later. I don't know why I don't get the notifications, but I do try to scroll through past workouts. Up tall, nice work. Down and up. People scroll through the video vault, archive videos, doing those workouts on repeat. Last set. I recommend dropping those comments even if it's your second, third time doing the workout. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, deadlift. Down, clean and press coming up. We have four more. I'm gonna go a little heavier. You're just starting out, go lighter. 
slow squat. Down and up. This is the meat and potatoes of the workout. We're gonna get that heart rate to elevate, building that muscular endurance while engaging the core, clean and press. There's no arch in that back. Good. Keep going. Take out a rep anytime. Slow it down anytime. Keep going. Four more. Breath is heavy here. Last two. Deadlift. Nice. Not easy. Whew. Many ways to make your workout more challenging. Coming out of those plateaus. Make that load heavier. Squat. Go a little deeper. Really rein in on that form. Tighten up that core. That's your center for control. Clean and press. Keep going, keep going. Again. Keep it up. Four more, hang on. Again, take out a rep if you need. Last two. Deadlift, good. Longer recovery. We're going one more set. Quality effort. Working toward failure without compromising that form. Nice. Slow squat. Last set down. My skin is glistening. I'm working hard, breaking that sweat. Clean and press. That's why I love the core opener. It's a good activation for these challenging standing Compound pushes. Push, press. Good. Four more. Together. Come on. Guys, thank you for joining me. Two. Let's go.
deadlift. Another challenging track. We're going into wide row. Option, lighten up that load. Do what works for you, friends. Wide row, 15. Down for two, set it up. Wide row. Option. Seven. Three, two, one, up tall, deadlift. Good, I'm gonna lighten that load. Set, two, down for two, wide row, 15. Seven. Three, two, up tall, deadlift. This time we're going to a narrow row. I'm gonna go pendulum. We're gonna start in right leg pendulum. Long legs here. You want to go split stance for balance? Hold that row. 15, hold it here. Find that focal point for balance. Seven. Take a break, friends, anytime. This is a lot of posterior work. One more. Dead lift, nice. Left leg. Are you ready? Get ready. Hold 15. Option, foot down. More stability, more support. Elbows up, let's go. Seven. Dead lift, good. Down and up. Squat. Pulse three squats, two bicep curls. Non stop today, palms face out. Three, two curls. Option, lighten up that load. Again. Nice. Pulse three. Two curls. Pulse three. Single squat, single curl. Four more.
love these compound movements. It's triple duty. But I recommend those total body muscle focused classes in between deadlift. Total body muscle is an opportunity to really get high reps on one muscle group at a time and focus on that form. Four more. You can shake out the hands anytime. That's a lot of time. Under tension, holding that grip below your hips. Squat. Nice. I feel that posterior chain. Whew. Palms up. Pulse three. Two curls. Weight in the back. Try your best. We just don't want to hover over the knees. We want to use the quads. Stimulate that core. Full curl if you can. No swaying on the upper body. Controlled movements. Make that conscious effort. You made the effort to show up. Focused workout. Let's go. Three. Two curls. One squat, one curl. Four more. That's it. Deadlift. All right, friends, we're going back to the floor. We're almost through. Now I'm gonna do a special core at the end. If you've got a Swiss ball, grab one. If you don't have one, I'll show you the plank option on your mats. Grab your weights for tricep kickback. We're gonna work a bit of balance. On all fours here, we're gonna go leg extension, eight. And four, opposite arm, add a tricep kickback. Square the hips, option, leave that leg out. Entirely up to you. It's about core stability. Keep going. Eight more. Four. Three, other side, legs only. Use that glute max, control through the core, opposite arm, kick back, let's go. Four, three, two, other side. Oh, 
I'm going to give you an option here. Eight singles to start. Eight. I'm going to hold out that leg for an isometric leg extension. Keep the elbow in nice and tight. Option to add a pulse. Ready? Square the hip, square the hip, tummy in tight. Push out that heel, friends. Fire up that hamstring. Loop max. Let's go for eight, seven. It's tough. It's tough. Pulses are a fast way to burn out those muscles. Three, two, other side. Eight. It's really important to square the hip. Navel points down. Pull the ribs in. Tricep kick back. Eight. Even though we've got a light set, we're close to the floor. It's still a very challenging track when you've got your form right. Pulse. Hold that leg out. Toe points directly to the floor, indicating a square hip. Elbow is in super tight. I want you to isolate the tricep. Eight. Option, put that foot down for more controlled pelvis. Four, three, two, Whew. that is tough. Shoulder abduction, we're gonna burn out the medial delts in four, from the knees, three, two, tempo. Option to lengthen the levers. I want to keep your workouts interesting. Distant from stagnation. I want you to surpass your plateaus. It keeps the body guessing. It's trying to adapt. Eight more. Four. Three. Two. Good. Weights down. We're going black burn. We're only doing two rounds, so make this one count. We've already burnt out the shoulders. We're only doing two. Pressing that pelvis in toward the mat. Posterior pelvic tilt. Pull the ribs down. Brace that core. Are you ready? Hold for eight. Only doing two rounds. Really focus on that form. Cactus, thumbs up. Keep that neck neutral. Four, three, two. Back of the hands to your thighs. Thumbs up. Squeeze your glutes. Posterior pelvic tilt. Squeeze your glutes. Relax your feet. Keep the blood up into that central region. Turn the thumbs down and hold. Pinkies up. It's not about how high you lift, it's that you're holding resistance. Four, three, two from the top, reach it out, come on. Stay strong. Four, bent elbows, thumbs up. Imagine a puppeteer has you by the thumbs, the elbows, the shoulders, the, the heels, the knees. Straighten out those arms, thumbs up. So good for a healthy spine. 
builds confidence, the way you carry yourself. Thumbs down, pinkies up for eight. These are great for those standing compound exercises. You can't lift those weights overhead without strong core. Nice, relax. Take a child's pose. Let's stretch out the forearms. Back of the hands to the mat. Go easy here. All right, if you don't have a Swiss ball, come into regular plank like this. You can tap like that. You can go one leg up like that. You can come to your knees and hold. That's a lot of options there. For advanced, stir the pot. This is highly challenging. Widen the stance. Forearms on the ball. Level one, stay here. We're gonna go circular motion with the elbows without compromising that posterior pelvic tilt. Stir the pot. Working on an unstable surface. Brace that core. You're holding plank on the floor. Take those intervals. Take that break anytime. Four more. Come down, take a break. I would probably put a little more air. You really want a firm ball. This is a fitter first ball, best quality on the market. Set it up, set two. We're gonna go opposite direction, circular motions in four. Check that form. Widen your stance anytime. Three, two, and one. Nice. We're going easy on the reps there. That is challenging. Give that a try. If you want an isolated abdominal workout, try four sets, two each direction. Dead bug to finish. With or without the ball. If you don't have a ball, just use your levers. I'm gonna show you level one, with or without the ball. Four, three, two, one, and up. Switch. Anchor that low back right down to the mat. It doesn't lift. If you find yourself arching your back, shorten the levers. Like that. Keep going. Lots of core today. Opposite like this. One more. Take a break, hug your knees in. Take a deep breath in.
second option, like this. I'm gonna slow it down, reach up. I've got long legs, I find both straight legs to be challenging. I like to bend my knees a little bit. This is advanced, no question. Hang on, friends. Last set, come on, four more. Go to regular dead bug without the Swiss ball. Last two. Last one. Ooh. All right, give yourself a breather there. Hug your knees toward your chest. and flex. Deep breaths in here. Rotate that ankle. Cross your ankle over the opposite knee, hug it in. Feel a nice stretch in your glutes. Other leg, point flex. Cross it over, opposite side, hug it in. Friends, share these workouts. You never know who could use some guidance in their fitness journey, structured programs, cues on proper form. This is an educational experience, bringing more awareness to your body. Grab a hold of one knee, roll it up. Lengthen our legs, relax the head and neck. Let your head dangle here. Lengthen your spine, back of your legs. One vertebrae at a time. And roll it up. Take a hold of your shoelace. Nice quad stretch for all the pulses at the front of the class. Grab a hold of that knee. Other side. Hug your knee up. Step and cross. Open up the side wall of your body, stretching out the psoas, hip flexor, side wall, lats, shoulders.
beautiful. My name is Jill. Thank you for joining me. Drop a comment. Love to read the comments. And we'll see you again.